The newest era of Pokemon cards are here. This is the brand new Scarlet and Violet TCG set in the Elite Trainer Box form. As is tradition, the first expansion of a new era has two different ETBs. We have the Scarlet Box and we have the Violet Box. Both completely the same, identical. Well, other than the color difference. But I'm saying inside they're identical. That's also not true. What I'm trying to say is the set, the packs are the same. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing good. And just so you're aware, we're doing a giveaway of these two boxes right here. Not these two boxes, but a pair of ETBs. If you want to win a pair of the brand new ETBs, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then also comment down below. Doing all those three things will enter you in the giveaway. Winners will be announced on a live stream in the future. There's a long list of giveaways that we still haven't drawn yet, so make sure you go and watch all the different videos and comment on all of them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited for this one today. I like Violet more, so we're going to save Violet till last, and we're going to open the Scarlet box up first. Here's the design of the box. We've got Coridon on the front. On the back, it shows you what you receive, which I'll show you in a second anyway. Here's a promo which you get inside the box, which is actually a new change. What's this little finger doing here? Hello. And yeah, overall, a very nice box, I have to say so myself. We're going to pop the sleeve open, and we get the book, which is a player's guide. Actually really helpful. It gives you all the details about the, the key cards. Cute little picture there. Tells you what's new, the mechanics, etc. But then it also gives you the entire set list. So if you want to use this to like scratch off the card you have and you don't have, it's just a nice way to keep track. But the best places to go is the back of the book. As you can see, the two promo cards, which we'll feature in the video. And then we have the cards themselves. These are the new rarities. I actually made a mistake in my last video. These are the hyper rares. So the gold cards here are the hyper rares. These cards you see with the double star are special illustration rares, which makes sense. I'm going to call them special art star thing. I'll probably just call them shorthand that. Then you've got the full arts, which is the silver stars. And there are a lot of full arts, which are still really nice cards. Like, don't get me wrong. Even these two, I think these two are a bit of a step above the rest. They are the terror. Um Full art. The gold single star is the art rares, and there are so many of them. Look at this. What a great set this is. To start off in the era, it's just one of the best sets. Speaking of which, let's get into the box itself. So you take off the top and you're greeted with the packs and everything inside. Now there are a few changes to the old ETVs. You now get nine packs, which is really cool. And it looks like you get one promo card, which is really nice too. Let's get this open. That is really, really nice. Black star promo number 14. Can you believe there are 14 promos already in the Scarlet Violet era? Then, as usual, in the box, you get sleeves, code card, energy cards, counters for the game, dividers, these are really cool, and then dice and damage counters. But the most exciting part of an ETV be in the packs themselves so let's get into this also i will be opening up 10 silver tempest packs at the end of this video so keep watching for that it looks like in the etvs and the like the build and battle kits the code card is black but then in the booster boxes it's white interesting change there we've got a loma loma as the first card pormo we have toad school rotom cyclazar toad scroll nice nice we have a mouse hold i like that Meditite, Watchful, and the final card being Claw. A slow start today. But for those who watched my last video, the booster box opening, if you haven't seen that, go and watch it. The pools right off the bat are absolutely insane. Definitely worth a watch, if you want to, of course. No pressure at all. And next up, we've got a Crushing Hammer, Starly, Flittle, Shroomish, Oink Cologne, one of the best names in the actual new era. We got a Spiritomb, Ultra Ball, Silly Cobra, Way Coco Reverse, and then a Slowbro Hollow. And that is a beautiful art, man. I know Josh Zerk is going to love that one. He loves Slowpoke, Slowbro, and Slow Team. Bring a Tito up next. If you haven't seen the recent videos that I've made and also the news about the new TCG, as you'll notice, Grave Orders now, and also two Reverse Hollows in each pack rather than just one. Unless you pull something that will overtake the Reverse Hollow, that is possible, like we just did. No, we didn't really. Nimona, and then Annihilate. And I can never say that Pokemon's name. It's really annoying for me. I don't know why. When I see the word, I just I read it wrong. Nothing yet, and it's safe to say this. ETB opening hasn't started off like my booster box opening, but that's okay. We got a Mankey, Char Cadet. We have behind that hiding Capsa Kid, Potion. Behind that we got an Espathra, Espathra, Mesa Goza, Reverse Hollow Crowagunk. Behind that, come on, I'm feeling lucky. We have a great Tusk Special Illustrated Rare. Special lot. I call it Special Art Rare. It's better. Two gold stars in the rarity, and look at that for a pool, guys. Look at the color of this card as well, like the shine of it. It's just so nice. Obviously textured as well, but it has the rainbow rare qualities of the previous generation without being just boring rainbowy. It's actually, special up with an amazing texture. And the final card we have is a Coridon EX. So a double hit in that pack, and that can happen in this new era. Also, guys, don't forget to check out Pokeran.net if you'd like to pick up some ETVs or booster boxes or single cards, whatever you need for the new era. Check Pokeran.net out. We've done a huge restock on Scarlet and Violet, and actually also Sword and Shield. So go check it out. But there we go. The Great Tusk is a great card. See what I did there? And then a Coridon EX. This ETB is actually starting to pick up. Let me know in the comments which ETB you think is going to be best as well. Is it going to be the Scarlet box that we're opening right now? Or is it going to be the Violet box that we held and we'll open after this one? Let me know what you guys think. We've got a Hound Door. We've got a Drift Loon up next. Citadel, Varum, Torkoal, Breloom, Killer Watchful. If you haven't watched my videos, I love that name. Tropius, Shrupit Reverse. And then we've got a War EX. Very nice card right there. I believe that's playable. I think. I haven't played the TCG itself in a long, long time. I haven't even played the new games. Been very busy trying to get some time soon to probably stream it on YouTube or Twitch. It probably won't be on this channel, the playthrough, but I will post it on a different one of my channels. Next pack, we've got a Magneton, Kloitzer, Graveyard, Mashif, Muk, Florgis looking gorgeous, Greedent, 
reverse hollow professor's research we have a reverse hollow poor me and then at the back we have a holucha hollow also hollows are guaranteed in every pack oh my god there's a moth open my window once for one recording and Ah, oh, anyway, I hate moths, man. I just do. I know they won't hurt me, but it's just like them flying around just bothers me. Okay, Magic Carp up next. Magnemite, how you doing? Tarantula. Pokemon Catcher, Greedon, looking mischievous. Crocodile. We have a Flamigo. Energy Switch. Reverse Hollow Houndoom. And then a Hollow Arbolivia. But even though we had an absolutely fantastic pull with the Great Tusk, we haven't had really anything else in this ETV so far. And this is the penultimate pack of the Scarlet Box. So fingers crossed, it turns for the better. Ponyard, Wiglet. Toad School, Sandial, Vivalon, Dashbun, love the artwork right there, Torkoal, Reverse Hollow, Tarantula, Bombardier, and a Cyclozar Hollow. So it looks like we're going to the wire, guys, like Kanye West. I know that's through the wire, but I thought I did something, allow it. And then we have the last pack for Scarlet, hashtag last pack look for this box right here. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you feel free. Make sure you feel free. Feel free to leave a like if you're enjoying the content. We have a Quaxley, Pornyard. Foratrus, Rocky Helmet, Mabostiff, we got a Spupa Reverse, a Clauncher Reverse, and the final card is a Quaquavel Hollow. Literally not much in this ETV at all. The pools weren't as good as we came to expect with the Booster Box yesterday. The Moth's back, Mothim, I hate Mothim. But including the promo there, it's pretty good, and obviously this great toast, absolutely special. This is going to go to H-Gradient, submit if you want to, hgradient.com. And now we shall move on to the Violet side of the Scarlet and Violet ETV. Here we go, let's get the seal off that, and as you can see, pretty much the same as the Scarlet Box, just with the Violet Maridon card instead of the uh, Caridon. The promo card right there as well, and again, different sleeves, different color of items inside, different player magazine, etc. The same information in here, and same everything else. In terms of the amount of packs etc i definitely prefer this promo card than the other one the Coridon. don't get me wrong both are great this one just takes it for me let me know what you guys think in the comments down below really cool card there and then we have nine packs the sleeves the dividers etc the code card oh that dice is really nice look at that nice but again most importantly nine packs of scarlet and violet let's hope the pulls in this one are a bit better than the first one although we did get that really nice great tusk starting us off we have a tandem mouse some olive prime ape poor me Electric Generator, Wug Trio. I laugh every time I see that card. We've got a Judge, Don't Judge Me, Greedent, a Reverse Hollow Sandal, and to end us off, a Paul Mott Hollow. Pack numero uno, not very good though. So Viper in the next pack, Houndor, Setoddle, Magic Carp, 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 Oink Cologne, Breloom, Killer Watch Roll, Fido Reverse, a Zangoose, and a Cyclozar. Starting off slowly, but I know we can turn it around. How have your guys' days been? Let me know in the comments as well. I mean, you don't have to, but I just I like talking to you guys. I'm grateful for you watching the video, so I appreciate you. Ooh. The artwork for the Rhyolu is really, really nice. I love that a lot. We've got a Magneton, or Magneton, as I would say, incorrectly. Kloitzer, Floatzel, whatever Floatzel is your Boatzel. We've got a Miriam, looking for you later. Not like that, like special art rare. Switch, Rare Candy Reverse, and a Professor's Research Hollow. Playing hard to get, as always, on this channel recently. The Booster Box is the only, what would you say, the only exception. That's the one. Those who watch the premium tournament boxes, I'm sorry for you. We've got Magnemite right here. And then also the ones who watch my Smiths, the hall. My look was so bad. That was just money, in both cases, down the toilet, man. Flamigo, Vitality Band. We've got an Amarouge Rare Reverse and a Coridon Hollow. So you don't just open Pokemon cards for the money, but it's always nice to get some value back. You know, it's nice to see what you're opening is worth it and, you know, is reciprocated in the value. Pokemon cards aren't cheap, especially the sealed stuff. So it's nice to get some bang for your book. We got a Graveyard, a Mastiff, stuck to the card behind it. We got a Pawniard, Wiglet, Rock Chestplate, Sea Titan, Team Star Grunt, Mankey Reverse. We then have a Squovet, and behind that, a Skelly Dirge. Again, just hollows, reverse hollows, man. What gives? My fingers aren't crossed right now, my toes definitely are. Is that too much information? Probably yes. Skiddo, Quaxley, Squovet, Shark Adept, Foratress, Rocky Helmet. My boss stiff, energy retrieval, Pokemon catcher, and an annihilate again. Bro, this is just dire, man. Literally not even an EX. I've been raving saying these pulls on the new set are so good. The booster box was the uh was the golden one, the chosen one. Also, sorry, these packs, like, I was just opened a booster box a minute ago for yesterday's video. And like they opened, like the cards separated from each other really easily, but then again, like now doing it on the ETV, they're kind of sticking together a lot. It happens more and more recently. I'm not sure if it's the angle that I'm opening cards at now. Now I'm stood up and not sat down and stuff. But anyway, potion. We have a Go Goat and a Rever Room. Please, man, what is this all about? At least you guys know the ones on Pokeran will be better to look than this. And also the giveaway ones have got better look than this. I'm taking the dud ETVs in this video, is what I'm trying to say. We got a Lechonk, Starly, Tar Tarantula, Watchrel. Oh, I saw something. Miriam, I saw something there, guys. The cards being stuck together revealed a little treat. For a tomb, Ultra Ball, we have a... I'm trying not to show it. It's so hard to not show it. Reverse Hollow Meditite. And then we have... What is this card? It is a... 
Nice, a clone shirt. And I love these new art rays. Look at the shine on them. So much more vibrant than the ones before it in the Sword and Shield era. The yellow border really does help as well. And just look at that. Look at that beautiful card. This color palette on this one, blue, green, aqua is very nice. And behind that we have, oh my gosh, a professor's research full art as well. So that's what we're talking about, guys. Double hit, live in the flesh. Centering on both of them isn't great. We don't care about that. Clone shirt right there. Professor's research and art rare and a full art in the same pack. Don't mind if I do. And then we have the final pack. Can we even go higher from there? Can we? I would say so far that maybe... I think the Scarlet Box is still winning so far because we did get that EX and the Great Tusk special art rate. And then the... Oh, no, that, that was it, right? That was it. Wait, is this one... Why we didn't get a gold star... Double gold star rarity, you know, the, the special art rare. We did get full art and an art rare, but I guess it's all down to this pack. We'll figure it out in a second. But first, we have a Tatsuguri Jack. We have a Lechonk. And come on, here we go. Please, please, please. Something big. Ah, experience share. And then a... Oh, a Great Tusk regular EX. Now, it's not fantastic, but it's decent, man. It's decent. And with that being the last pack, I think we have to compare right here. So let's have a look. The Violet Box contains this Professor's Research Full Art, the Clauncher Art Rare, the Great Tusk, and the Maridon Promo, which is a nice one. We've got a Caridon EX, a God of War EX, a Great Tusk Special Art Rare, or a Special Illustrated Rare, and then a Caridon. I'm torn right here, guys. I'm torn, which I'm still tempted to go towards the Scarlet Box, even though I prefer the promo on the Violet Box. It was a Professor's Research, which is a good card. He's handsome too i'm not sure on this one guys in the comments the comments might have to decide it please let me know and i'm gonna read them all and see what you guys think but you know what not bad etvs in the end it came through in the end you know i'm not too disappointed with those pulls at all but don't go anywhere guys it's not over yet because we are gonna open 10 packs now of silver tempest to try and pull that lugia v special art if you guys didn't know it's a new challenge i'm doing or a new series a mini series on this channel where in videos where i'm doing something else i'll try and open 10 silver tempest packs it's hard to say either before or after the main content of the video. Just a little mini series for you guys to try and follow along and see if we can pull the Lugia special art for the first time. We've got a Fampi, Fletchling, Chime Echo. And already I'm like glad that we're, we've gone away from these yellow borders. I don't, I don't, it's not as good. We have a Verizion in the first pack. We've got 10 packs of this though. And this is from a fresh booster box. So fingers crossed we got some good look in our sales. <laughs> In our sales. Fighting Energy, Low Punny, Quad Stone, Regenerative Energy. I need some of that. Fennekin, Spinarak. Beldum, Croagunk, we got a Solosis, Cobalion, Rare Reverse, and a Terrakion. Nice. Two of them together, back to back. I mean, how unfortunate were we in the 10 minutes to spend a thousand pound video where we bought two of the Lugia special arts from the card show, but didn't unfortunately grade a single 10. We got a nine and an eight, which unfortunately, oh, Togodomaru didn't give us the value we needed to complete the challenge, which means you guys won the giveaway, which still hasn't been drawn. Oh, we have something here. We have a God of War art rare. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. And then we have, oh, double hit. We've got a Skunk Tank and a God of War back to back. It's no Lugia, but they are some pretty good pulls right there. Damn, Silver Tempest trying to be like Scarlet and Violet right now with them double hits, man. <laughs> trying to compete, saying, don't forget about me. Sword and Shield still exists and doesn't evolve in skies. Know it. What a set. We've got a video I'm filming soon that I'm really excited about. It rhymes with Schmag Schmorschmars. Yes, that is Tag All Stars. <laughs> Stone Journal, Ferris Seed, Schmeagle, Esper, Dratini. We have a Chinchow, a Reverse Hollow Zygarde, and Inoven. I thought it was going to be Zygarde back to back then. I was about to say, damn, let's buy a lottery ticket. The odds of winning the lottery are probably still harder, still greater than pulling that card back to back. You know what? I just kind of... Oh. Oh. This is one of the best art rares. Malamar. I could see it peeking out the corner right there. Malamar, art rare, and a Metagross. Hollow. Love this art rare though. It's so, so nice. Just the colors and the art style is just so perfect. Imagine that with a purple border. Not even a gray one. A purple border would be elite. Elite trainer box. <laughs> Sorry. Not funny, is it? It's not funny, is it? Right, guys. Next up from the depths of the Silver Tempest, we've got a Snorunt, a Schmeagol, and a Flosh, Flosh, Flash, Flosh. Wow. Frost last. Four from the back, give it a tap. I don't miss that actually. I mean, I miss saying it, but in Scarlet and Violet, I like how you can just take the code card and the card, one card from the back, or the energy to just out of the back and then move on with the rest. Drowsy, Growlithe, Fampy, and a Amoongus. Four from the Bizzak, give it a Tizzak. We've got a Darkness Energy. Darkness Energy used to be my like lucky one. Let me know yours in the comments down below. We've got a Jinx, we've got a Brandon. Altaria, lovely artwork on that. That's just so stunning every time I see it. We've got Litten, it's lit. We've got a Rufflet, Fennekin, Durant, Kevin, and then we have a Emolga behind that. Oh my gosh, what's this? We have a, no way, Rayquaza. 
VMAX, the gold card from the training gallery. Behind that, we have a Bravery Hisuian. That's a really nice card. I think I've said before, like, I'm not a massive fan of these gold and, like, black cards. You know, it's like a texture, but not texture at the same time. It's not awful, but I can see why people don't go crazy for those. It's like a rainbow ray. It looks cool, but you don't really get to see the Pokemon much. And that's why the special art cards are so great, because you see the Pokemon in their habitat with a different art style each time. Really, really nice. Speaking of which, we've got a grass. I'm not sure why I said that. I think because I thought of the Pokemon in its habitat, which is usually grass. I kind of said that. But anyway, moving on. Elgem. Fungus. Sandy Gast, Ready Cant. We have a Reverse Hollow Keldeo Rare and a God of War. Not a God of War, a God of War. And here we go, guys. The last pack of this Silver Tempest mini series right here. Nothing really crazy in this one. Two art rares, which I do appreciate, but no Lugia, no like secret rare just yet. We move there. We got a Grass Energy again, Dragonair in its lair, Venomoth, the boss, Wallace, Clink, aka Sink. Not sure why I said that. Welma, Dratini, Dratini, Fibas. We got a Reverse Hollow. Nope. Sorry, Fampy. Then we have a reverse hollow Stunfisk and the final card being a Melotic. No Lugia, guys, but keep watching because next time I'll do it. I'll get it, I swear. Not a bad little mini haul from this one right here. We did our best. Thanks for watching, though, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Scarlet and Violet ETB. For now, though, peace.